Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. And we are JK Builders. Builders. If you're new to the channel and you love Lego, you should subscribe. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, helps out the channel a whole bunch and it's very much appreciated. Today, we're doing a review of a brand new set from Lego Star Wars. It was just released a couple of days ago. It is the UCS Luke's Land Speeder. Jackson, what does this box say? Well, it's 18 plus, the item number is 75341, and it is 1,890 pieces. Cool, and what minifigs does it come with? Um, Luke and C-3PO. Luke and C-3PO, awesome. So, this is the latest installment from the Ultimate Collector Series Edition from LEGO Star Wars. Um, it is Luke's Landspeeder, and, you know, it is the latest in the long list of Luke's Landspeeders that we have seen over the years. But anyway, checking out the box art, you have the picture of the set right here. Um, very simplistic, black background, a little bit of a glow going on behind it. It says Luke Skywalker's land speeder up here with the Star Wars logo. Um, down here it has Star Wars logo again. Um, that's pretty much it for the front. On the back of the box, you do get a rear view of the ship. Lots of cool details in this build. We'll show you them in a second. Of course, it comes with the UCS style plaque. I guess it's not a UCS style, it's a UCS plaque. <laughs> and, a, a, and it shows the two minifigures standing there on the stand. Um, down here, you get a picture from the movie, another picture from the movie. You got the dimensions. It's 19 inches long by 4 inches tall. Uh, you got a couple pictures of the set inside the cockpit and then a picture of one of the engines. So pretty cool box art, but nothing really special. Um, that's about it. So yeah, let's check out the instruction book. All right, here is the instruction book. So on this one, you get the exact same picture of the land speeder that you saw on the front of the box. On the back, you have the Star Wars logo. So pretty basic. You know, this is more along the lines of the instruction books that we've gotten lately, a little bit more basic. Yeah. Um, nothing too special to use the exact same picture. On the inside, there is quite a bit of information. So you have some information about the movie. Um, it says introduced by popular demand. There was a popular demand to have a UCS land speeder. There was. Okay, <laughs> maybe. And then it talks a little bit about the land speeder itself, and then it also talks about the designers and the design process. Um, so those are uh, a little bit of uh, cool information. You're welcome to read that at your leisure when you have the set. It is a large instruction book. It has the dark gray background. It's about 255 total pages. Um, nothing additional in the back. Uh, that is pretty much it. So that is the instruction book. Let's go ahead and check out this set. All right, so here it is, the UCS Luke's Land Speeder set, all finished up. Uh, first of all, we will check out the minifigs. Now, first up, we have the Luke Skywalker. This is the farm boy Luke. Um, I think this one we have seen before. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think this one is exclusive. Uh, but he's got very good printing on the chest, back, and legs. He's got the blue lightsaber, and then he's got these little binoculars in his hand. Um, he does have the double-sided face and the cool hair mold. So he's got kind of a happier face there and kind of a more angry face there. Um, so good minifigure, but I do think we've seen him before. Um, next up, we have the C-3PO. Now this one is a very, very good minifigure. This one is exclusive to the set. It's the only way to get it right now. Has the printing on the chest, back, legs, arms, toes, and side legs. It's a very, very good minifigure overall, and I'm very happy with it. Now the one thing that I do think that we're missing from the set would be a R2-D2. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't include one. Of course, I'm glad that anytime we can get at least a couple of minifigs at least, and some exclusive minifigs with a UCS set because it's becoming more and more rare. Um, but I do feel like an R2-D2 yeah. probably should have been included and it would have been nice to get a, an exclusive R2-D2 because we haven't had one of those in a while. And they also probably could have thrown in like in Obi-Wan Kenobi. What you... All right, now checking out the set itself. It does come on this very cool stand. It has the spots on either side of the UCS plaque for the minifigures to go for display which is nice. Um, the UCS plaque is right here. It says Star Wars X-34 Land Speeder. It gives you all the specs of the Land Speeder, um, which you are free to pause this and read or read them when you build the set yourself. Um, if we move the Land Speeder off of the stand, you can see that it is mostly built of Technic bits. Um, it has these two posts here that go into the bottom of the Land Speeder, holds it securely into place. I'm really not worried about it falling off. It seems pretty stable while it's on the stand. I'm pretty happy that they included the stand. I think it's a it's a nice touch and it's, it's definitely needed with this one. If it just sat like this, that would be weird. Yeah, I think it needs to be up in the air floating. On the bottom of the set, Jackson, if you want to flip it over, you can see the two little holes here and here where the posts from the stand go into to hold it in place. It also has these clear little slider pieces on the bottom to give it a little bit of a feel that it's levitating when you put it flat on the ground. I kind of wish they would have put more of those just so that if you do play with it or put it on the ground that it does give it more of a feeling of levitation. 
um, but they didn't. It's really meant to be displayed on the stand, I think. And then checking it out, there are just so many cool details on this ship. Um, it is very cool. I'm actually quite pleased with the way that it turned out. I think it looks really, really good. Um, so coming around the top here, um, you have it nice tiled off. You have like a piece of the engine kind of showing right there. Uh, something sticking up right there. It looks like there's a little bit of battle damage or wear there on the front. Uh, there were a good amount of stickers, most of them having to do with these lines and the details on the engines. So like these lines up here were all stickers. Um, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I was glad that they got a lot of the color um, from actual parts rather than stickers. Like all of these are just parts, that's not stickers, which I was glad about that. Uh, coming down here, you have this little front thing on the front. Um, I was, when I saw the picture of it, I was wondering how they did this little tube look. I was kind of worried that they did just do like a bunch of tubes and that is exactly what they did. Um, if I had to complain about one thing, it would probably be this section right here. And with the tubes, I don't feel like they went flush 100%. And I don't really like the unfinished look right here and along here, but that's kind of being nitpicky. It's not really a big deal. I think if you're looking at it from a distance, you don't really notice it. Um, but that is going to be one of my small complaints. Um, over here you have another sticker, some little air intake locations here. Um, the engines are very cool. Um, this one is actually opened up, like I don't know if it's busted open or... I can't remember if it looked like that in the movie. It did. Did it? I'd, I'd assume that it did, but lots of cool little wires and cords and things going through there. Um, nice depiction of the inside of the engine. Um, lots of cool little details there. On the top you have the large engine that goes in the middle. Like I said, there's stickers that go all the way around it. Um, you have the thrusters on the back, which are cool. Um, nice building techniques, getting those at that angle. And then you have this engine, which is not opened up. It's all closed off and finished looking, which is nice. I really do love the color of this one. The uh, two tones with the gray, I think looks really, really good. Um, and then the crown jewel of this set, I think has got to be this windshield. This thing is incredible. I've never seen a windshield like this. Um, and I am very pleased with the way this windshield looks. I am so glad they went the extra mile on this windshield and didn't just do something cheap or something that they already had or reuse something. Um, this is obviously built just for this set and I think it looks absolutely amazing. When, on the, huh? when you look at it, when you look at it from the inside, it kind of looks like more than one piece. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, that is just one solid piece um, and it's, it's, uh, it looks really cool. Um, on the inside of the cockpit, you have a couple of seats which are nice and tiled off. Um, you have a steering wheel over here on this side, and then you have like a shifter knob, a display console there, and a couple of dials and such. Uh, not a whole lot of detail on the inside, but just enough. Um, I think you get what you need in there, and I think it looks pretty good. So overall, I think it looks really awesome. This was a really fun set to build. It was all bit, uh, brick built. There was only a handful of um, Technic parts in this entire set, um, if you don't include the stand, of course. Uh, but this one was probably one of the more fun UCS sets that I have ever built. Um, and I think it looks really great as a finished product as well. All right, Jackson, the UCS Luke's Landspeeder. What are some of the things that you think about this set? I like the detail on this set because it, like, this is probably the most detailed set that I've seen this year, honestly. This year? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. because it just looks so much like the movie. I mean, I, I haven't seen the movie, but I have played the game. It looks just like the game. Yeah, I think they absolutely nailed the look of the set. Now, my opinion of the Luke's Land Speeder, obviously we've had a bunch of them. We only have one. We only have a play set that was released a couple yeah. of years ago. Um, we haven't collected Luke's Land Speeders over the years like many of you probably have. Um, was this set needed as a UCS set? I think it was. It was long overdue. The fact that there hasn't been a UCS Luke's Land Speeder up until today, yeah. I think is kind of crazy um, to, to think about. Did we need a Luke's Land Speeder right now? Probably not. Are there other UCS sets that they probably could have made before this one? I think so. Um, are there other UCS sets that I would rather they made other than this one? Yes. But am I happy with this set? Absolutely. I think it turned out really great. I'm very happy with the finished product. I think it looks awesome. As far as the UCS set goes, um, there's there's a lot that have come out, like the A-Wing in particular, um, even the AT-AT, -AT, the Millennium Falcon, they're, they're kind of janky, you know, there's so many pieces, they're so large uh, that they don't stay together good, they're, yeah. uh, they're kind of hard and get a little bit frustrating, you can't move them. That is not the case with this set. This set is very, very well built. It is 99% brick built, which made it super enjoyable uh, experience to build this set. Um, it's all just made of tiles and bricks and Lego pieces, not Technic pieces, which 
made it a whole lot of fun and it is built absolutely solid. This thing you can play with, like this could be a play set. You can move it around. <clears throat> the only things that get a little bit janky are these engines. If there's one thing that is a little bit wobbly on it, it, it is these engines. Um, they are just held on by those few little Technic pieces that are included in the set. Um, and they are a little bit janky. Like, especially this one is a little wobbly, but I'm not really worried about it falling off if I'm gonna play with it yeah. <clears throat> or when I'm moving it. Like you can move this set without it falling apart. That's not that's not gonna be an issue. Like you can you can jank it as hard as you can. Like yank, like just shake it around and, and nothing will break. Yeah, so it is a it is a definitely a better experience building this, playing with it, and moving it than a lot of the other UCS sets um, we've seen in the past. Um, overall, I think it looks amazing. It's a great display piece. It's going to look really good downstairs on my Lego UCS Star Wars shelf. Um, this one retails for one hundred and ninety nine dollars in the United States. Jackson, you're going to buy it. Wait for seller pass. Buy it. Buy it. I'm going to buy it too. I'm going to buy it every UCS set that comes out from now on. Um, the only one that I don't have that I could get right now is the Star Destroyer. Get it, buddy. You just gotta take the plunge. I just gotta do it. Okay. You just gotta, you just gotta jump on the high dive and do the biggest cannonball that you can. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna buy the set. I think uh, price per piece is a little bit high, uh, price per piece wise, but it is a Lego Star Wars set and it is a UCS set, so. You're gonna pay a premium for that. It has a couple awesome minifigures, exclusive C3PO, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, I'm gonna go out and pick up this set. If I'm a fan of UCS style sets and a fan of Star Wars in general, it's a must have. And then just so you can have a comparison, here is the playset version of the land speeder that we have. It's actually very similar, just far less detailed, obviously. You have the engine that's opened up on this side. You have the same lines on the top, the engine sticking out. You got even this little piece is the same. Um, you have the tubing that goes around the front. Um, so very, very similar thrusters on the back. Very cool. So yeah, this is just a, a much larger and much, much more detailed version of the same thing. Like, Alright, so there it is, the UCS Luke's Land Speeder from LEGO Star Wars. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep on building.